Good morning, my soccer universe. Cannot believe it. The Dutch are in the final, but uh, it was not a straightforward <laughs> way. <laughs> anyway, um, yesterday's semi final was everything that the other one was not. Or I should say the other way around. Um, England USA was full of intense attacking, going forward, pressing down. A lot of athleticism yesterday it was more. Uh, calm, stoic, defensive struggle, um, not much cohesion in the play. And I have to say, whether you like it or not, you have to give, give the Swedes a lot of credit for that part because, um, yes, with um, the front line, uh, mainly Aslani and um, Jakobsen. That was the name I was looking for. Uh, they have very talented players going forward, but in the end, um, the more fluid uh, team per se is, of course, the Netherlands. And uh, you could kind of see that Sweden did what Sweden does best. They take away your strengths. Um, and so, despite when you look at statistics during the game, it was usually that the Dutch were dominating possession, that the uh, they had maybe even more shots. The key is that the Swedes had more shots that went on goal and Sweden for the most part of the game was the better team that was in control because they never allowed the Netherlands to get the game going. And in a very scrappy first half, I mean, I, and you sensed it, that this will be a game that will be a struggle. Um, for England, USA, you could always say, yes, this, the dynamic US team, the English team, very much in the same spirit. The discussions are whether they got the tactics wrong in, in a way a little bit too uh, cautious. Then you could see, for Netherlands, Sweden, I honestly, I know how Sweden plays. I've seen it. Uh, They're not a flashy side. And I expect exactly the game that I uh, that we got yesterday. Um, and also the Netherlands are clinically on the front, but I never had the feeling that they are all that great putting the pieces together. They are not this uh, fluid side that they were uh, two years ago at the Euros. Um, the big news for the Netherlands was that um, Lieke Martens could play, however, Except for one dribble where actually you could see her skills late in the first half. Couldn't see much of her. Um, the other thing is the stadium was not uh, sold out. And I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed that you saw a little blocks of fans behind the goals for each of the teams. But it was so uh, fragmented. You saw a Dutch jersey. You saw a Sweden jersey. Which in one sense is nice that they are bonding together. But the atmosphere was suffering through that big time. And yeah, you saw a lot of uh, empty seats. Which at first was confusing because they, they were mainly blue. On the, on, on the lower ball. And you thought, ah, there's maybe some blue guys sitting there. Nope, that was empty seats. So yeah, that was a little bit disappointing and the game uh, clearly was suffering from, from that too. Um, as I said, in the first half, Sweden was largely the better team and I thought, yeah, Sweden will very routinely get their goal and then play it home safely. They got a big chance in the 35th when um, I think Fischer took a shot after a corner kick, there were many legs. Uh, it comes then to Rubenson, who also takes a shot, and Van Venendal in the with her leg saves it. Um, that was basically the biggest chance in the first half. Sweden had only another one. There was nothing coming from the Dutch. Um, in the second half, Sweden at the beginning really went for the kill and uh, really stifled the US and had a huge chance. Um, I think it was again after corner kick where um, Aslani takes a shot that um, is blocked and then the Dutch cannot really clear and the, a ball falls to Fischer, who was a pretty, um, you could see her almost everywhere. 
she takes a shot and Favena gets the finger on, on it and it goes to the post and if you look at the replay there were so many Swedish players ready there for the taking if it just takes the right bounce for them it's 1-0 for Sweden but it was not to be and then the game kind of up until the 60th the game kind of shifted it got a little bit more even the Dutch could get a little bit more control on the game um, and I think part of it is uh, Jill Roark came on for Lieke Martens, um, which gave them maybe less flash, but a little bit more stability for the simple reason that, you know, Martens clearly is not informant. Uh, I think her toe injury is hindering her. Uh, Spitze and Van der Donk and Grunen, the, kind of the midfield, took over as well. Um, and Sweden got tired. I think this is the main driver. But... It was a slow build and it actually uh, took a, an, a corner kick in the around the 60th, 65th minute um, that suddenly um, Miedema is absolutely free and takes a wonderful header. It uh, just is a little bit tipped by Lindahl to, uh, I think it was, uh, to go onto the uh, bar. And yeah, from that moment on, it was an even game. Um, um, Van der Sanden came on in the 71st to give a little bit more dynamics um, going for, for, for the Dutch, which on one side helped, on the other side, Van der Sanden, she's like this instinctive player, but her instincts were not always right. It was a little bit frustrating because you see she has a lot of ability, but her tactical decisions are often not the best. Um, she could have killed it in the uh, 90th minute or stoppage time um, where her shot yeah, just went wide. Uh, was again a nice tip by Lindahl. Then stop uh, overtime was unavoidable, honestly. Uh, I, I could see this already yeah, around the 67th. So it was clear this will go to overtime. And in overtime, the surprising thing was that the Dutch had possession and I think the Swedes barely crossed the center line at least for the first 10 minutes or so and in the end it's then a, in the 99th um, Van der Donk plays a pass forward that is quickly um, uh, put you know a uh, bounced by Miedema into uh, Jackie Runen and she takes a shot from outside of the box that fits right into the corner into the net and makes it 1-0 for the Dutch uh, the Dutch then hang a little bit more back, so in the second half it was more Sweden on the control, but you could see that they are gassed. Uh, they had actually, they made all the four substitutions, but there was really not much coming from Sweden anymore. There was actually one more um, concerning moment right in stoppage time of <laughs> the overtime when Aslani uh, got a ball on her neck jumping up and seemingly this uh, took her out and she had needed to be taken care of for a few minutes they had a few corners they had a few uh they had a good free kick uh on the side but i have to have to have to say i had a lot of confidence in the dutch goalkeeper van venendal so the dutch hang on it's a little bit okay. I'm, I'm okay that the European champions are also now in the World Cup and they are the best European team, at least by the weird arithmetic uh, that the World Cup has. I don't think they're the best Euro, Euro European team, but they're, hey, they're, they're in the final. Do you think they stand a chance against the US? No way. I think the US uh, will take care of the kind of. I have to say, the backline for uh, the Netherlands is solid. However, the dynamic uh, attack of the US, I have a feeling they will feast on that. Um, they do have a better goalkeeper. I think I really have a lot of trust in Van Veenendaal. She really proved to be um, the backstop that you need to have in such a big tournament. Um, you didn't see much of Miedema um, going uh, forward, but you know, when she had the chance, she actually was really, really dangerous. Um, and, you know, Van der Sanden, what? I think it's not that bad. There is something there. I really like the midfield with Spitze, Van der Donk and Runen. They are tirelessly working and they are creative. So, I mean, when the Dutch can get their game on, they are a really nice side to watch. I just don't quite see it, how they can beat the US. So, for me, 
So yes, it's still the favorite. The big final is on Sunday, five o'clock Central European time. Again, played in Lyon. I hope they do something better with the crowd because all already for the England game yesterday, it seemed a little bit disjointed. Um, that is weird. In Nice, the third place game on Saturday is between Sweden and England. I'm not sure how many people are gonna watch that one. Anyway, it was a struggle. Let me know what you thought about the game yesterday. Drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.